Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first edition of Guide Life. What we're going to be trying to do is put together a few different videos that are going to be showing some of the important things that we're doing, and just some of the different stuff that happens in our day. Good morning. Good morning, Bexer. So we just made it up to South Dakota. And they were calling for hot and dry. And we showed up yesterday afternoon and well, evening. It was about 6 o'clock. Come here. And it's 40 degrees and raining. That's kind of the opposite of hot and dry, in my opinion. Come on. So a big part of every day um, and a big part of guiding hunts here is the bird dogs. 6.30 in the morning. And we are getting these boys out to go potty. Come on, buddy. We've got something, a very specific way that we do this, which is with these tie outs. And I'm gonna show what that looks like as soon as I get a damn dog here. All right, so what we've got going on here is a tie out and these tie outs essentially have a stake pounded into the ground, a cable, this is a poly coated cable. The tie outs themselves are made out of stainless steel and then have a little chain and clip on them. And then our cable drops here, our cable material. Right in the light, baby. We'll get better of this in the in the daylight, but loops, loops, everything swivels, keep dogs from getting tangled up. Now, this is a couple of the things that we're looking for. Get out and go potty, get out and poop, and then we've got to keep this area clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one picked up. Old Deacon. We got everybody up here with us right now. We got Muddy, we got Nix, we got Deacon, we got Legend, and then we got Vex here. We got Hatch over there. We're going to have a heck of a team this fall going on hunt. Now today, we're going to be working through a few different things. We've got guys showing up this afternoon, and what I need to do, because I haven't been up here, is we're going to be driving around looking at property, trying to get an idea of what everything looks like and get a game plan for what we're going to be hunting the next few days, kind of in what order. Uh, there's been a lot of crops cut, but until you get up here and get your eyes on stuff, you don't always know what it looks like or where we need to go. Yep, yep, baby grit can go right there. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to get these uh, pops watered. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so a couple different things when we're on the road that we have to take into consideration. One of which, and this is probably one of the ones that's most overlooked, is water. Obviously, we didn't haul enough water for three weeks in South Dakota. So what we're going to end up doing here is on our first day, we're going to mix local water which is the water we're going to be able to get while we're here, into our tank. And I think the easiest way for me to do that right now, because this tank right here on the back of the truck is where we'll pull a lot of the water out of. It's about half full or a little better. I uh, topped it off before we took off. We watered everybody on the road. We watered everybody yesterday when we got up here. And what I'm going to do now is mix in, which that's about a seven-gallon tank. I'm going to fill up this five gallon jug and we're going to get that mixed in to start this process of switching over the water that these guys are going to actually be drinking. Okay, so we've got water going in the tank. This is just to help, uh, like I said, mix house water to new house water and give make a little easier transition on the dogs. Then we're going to go ahead and fill up and we're going to water everybody this month. Okay. 
Nope. Yep. So now every morning, the dog's on chains out here. They're going to get access to water. I got it. Say hello, oh, Tim. Oh, no. Oh. Boy. <laughs> There's muddy stool. So what we'll do is rotate these tip tops down through everybody on the on the ranch. They get to drink all the water they want. Water is a huge, huge, huge part of... Hey, buddy. Nixer says he's ready to hunt, folks. That all comes into proper conditioning. He says we've been roading and working hard and... Y'all, dang it. I'm ready to go hunt. I bet we hear a slightly different tune after the first two, three days of working on it. Okay, the girls say, it's cool. We don't want a ton of water. We just want it a little bit. They got all they wanted. And these things are sweet. Check this out. Here. There you go. I'm going to show you this here closer. We're getting these uh, up and on our store here pretty soon. Good morning, Thunder Pop. Nixer, Nixer, Nixer. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppies are going to drink a ton of water. If you've got puppies at home, your puppy probably drinks a ton of water. It's just something that puppies do. And sometimes if you just interrupt them a little bit, that little love from him and say, hey, Hey, think about it. Is your belly full or not? And he says, nope, it's not. I can go back to drinking a little bit. Now, these uh, waters here are pretty dang cool. They uh, We have them made here for us. And so I'm still not done, Dad. Yeah, it's a, it's a gravity type thing. A vacuum type thing here. And what they do is tip up like this you can fill them that way we'll do a little more in detail on this but then essentially you tip them down and then the water is right there in for the dog to drink he says i'm not done yet daddy It's going to be a pretty day here in South Dakota. Um, and this let out stuff on our off days like this is going to happen every few hours. Uh, we're really, we're going to be doing, um, they kind of get to live on the truck and trailer. I'll show you. You've seen in our other videos kind of what that looks like. But um, they're going to have dog boxes. We're parked inside, so it's warm out of the cold here. And uh, inside these boxes, ooh, we got, ah, uh, we can't hook up lights. Inside these boxes, though, is a rubber mat for a little bit of insulation, keep them off the aluminum. And then, same thing in. Same thing here in the back of the truck. So we've got nine dogs up here. I'm gonna count one, two, three, six, nine. Yeah, nine dogs up here with us right now. They've got lights in there. And again, mats. This is that new Angley box. Gives them something to lay on. We will be letting dogs out on the chain basically the whole time that we're up here. But, um, they're all getting their water, they're getting their morning stretch in, and we will from here be moving out to um, go check fields a little bit. Then we'll come back, we'll let dogs out, and we'll keep you posted throughout the day. All right, welcome back. Hey, pup pup. We are ready for our next let out. Come on. And then, come on, clutch. Good job, buddy. And then what we're going to end up doing is rolling around uh, so we can kind of start to teach Tim the new property. Come on, buddies. Come on, come on, come on. Thunder. He said, I had to pee. I had to pee. Come here. 
We're gonna get you clipped up here. We're gonna get you clipped up here. Good boy. You had to pee too. Good boy. Alright, we're gonna give them a minute. We're gonna roll right through and get everybody else out quick. Come on, boys. A legend. Hop down. Mixer. Next. Oh, come on, boys. Good job. Good boys. Up. This is such an easy way to take care of dogs. It's an easy way to keep them, hey, 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 keep them all together where they're at. And it also gives you the ability to, all right, come on. It gives you the ability to keep an eye on what's coming out of them. We've got to know does the stool look good? Are they stressed out? And if they're running around in the back pasture, you don't always get to see those things. But if you've got an eye on, come on, buddy. Come on. If you've got an eye on what's happening, then you can help them out. So if they need something, Deacon, I'm holding on to you, buddy. Come on, mud. Come on, muddy. Good girl. Oh, what to say, huh? All right, so we've got the last couple dogs here on this side. That will be Hatch. Good boy. And Grit. Good girl. Get your clip back up there. All right. I'm going to hold on to you. We're going to put you down here, big boy. Give you a lot of regularity on... Come here, Grit. Good, baby. Hello. A lot of ability to regulate where they're at, what they're doing, and hey, 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 hey. These guys are all pumped. You know, this is day one. It's just, it's no different than when... You're on your first day of the hunt, and you get out there, and you're excited, and everybody's ready to roll, and uh, what these guys are is ready to roll. We get a few days into this, and they've got worked hard. They'll be out here just ready to relax. Yeah. Yeah, you're excited. You're going to get to do a little bit while we're up here. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You're going to get to do a lot. You're going to get to do a lot. You, sir, the old man on the group, you can see that gray in his muzzle and his eyes around his eyes. Good job, buddy. And then you, you're also seasoned veteran. You're a two-time, two-time returning champion. What do you need, Timmy? Uh, in my pocket. And looks like we're about ready to have success here. He didn't poop this morning. We got to kind of keep them on the chain. Sometimes it takes them a little while to figure this out, but you can't go, okay, well, we're going to give you a good walkabout over here because then they'll just hold out for that. And it makes it more difficult to be able to keep things regulated. If you've got one dog, it's not a big deal, but if you've got nine, it's a little more of a big deal. So, but we're going to get these guys loaded up and then we're going to show you a little bit of the South Dakota countryside. Mm -hmm. 